Me and my goldfish saw it at the same moment, a great white shark. We were 30 meters under the surface, surrounded by the most vicious selection of sea creatures that had ever gathered in one place since the audition for Jaws. I was there for all of three days before I got into trouble. Advice to myself, don't pick an argument with a scorpion fish. How had a two-week holiday in Sharm El Sheikh turned into this subaquatic nightmare? I'd been looking forward to some sunshine, a little diving. Char-grilled lamb cooked on a terrace overlooking the promenade. So here I was, hiding behind a Gorgonian fan coral. In the last few minutes, things had gone from bad to worse. It turned out the scorpion fish had friends. A school of barracuda had come out of the blue. There was a jellyfish still hovering above us. That was about what it was good for. When God was handing out limbs, claws or wings to his various creatures, you have to admit the jellyfish drew the short straw. OK, I said. This is what we're going to do. You swim that way and make a diversion. I can't. There's an octopus. That octopus is rubbish. What makes you so sure of that? It's only got seven legs. I took a deep breath. Listen, goldfish, I muttered. I was careful not to raise my voice. That would cost me more air. Just help me out, will you? I'll meet you back on the shore. He winked at me. Then he rose up and dashed away, flickering through the water like an orange flame caught in a wind tunnel. The barracuda saw him first. They turned round and shot after him, a dozen silver knives thrown with razor-sharp precision. They were followed by the stingrays, the shark and the scorpion fish that had started it all. Then came a school of spotted gobies, half a dozen wrasses, a blotched hawkfish, two more eels and a gigantic snapper. The octopus limped behind. The jellyfish stayed where it was, not particularly aware of what was going on. Taking care to avoid the jellyfish, I kicked out in the opposite direction, my fins propelling me towards the shore. The sun was already beginning to set by the time I climbed out. I made my way over to the beach, a crescent of white sand close to the promenade where I liked to sip a mojito and watch the sunset. Behind me, the multicoloured light bulbs blinked on. The restaurants were opening for business. I could smell the burning charcoal in the air. But still, there was no sign of goldfish. I stared out at the water, a dark blue that was rapidly turning midnight black. Nothing. Then, something cold and predictable, jabbing me hard between the shoulder blades, the smell of seaweed and a voice. If you want to see your friend, you will come with me. I spun round. It was the old move. Elbow to the solar plexus and edge of the fist to the throat. The Egyptian waiter was hurled backwards, a tray of chilled oysters flying out of one hand, the bottle of champagne he just tapped me with tumbling out of the other. He hit the sand and lay still. I looked past him, and there was Goldfish waiting for me at our favourite table with the two iced cocktails he'd just ordered. I shook my head. I was more on edge than I thought. Maybe I needed this holiday after all. <laughs>